Hello, and welcome back to Species Spotlight. This week, we are going to learn about a rodent we find around waterways, the muskrat. Muskrats are medium-sized, semi-aquatic rodents that belong to the vole family. They are native to North America and can be found in habitats such as marshes, swamps, ponds, and streams. Muskrats are much smaller than beavers, weighing only 5 pounds and reaching lengths of 26 inches. Their tail is another way to set them apart from beavers, as a muskrat has a long, skinny tail that is laterally compressed to utilize as a rudder when swimming. Their hind feet have partial webbing between their toes to aid in swimming, and they also possess two layers of thick, waterproof fur to keep their bodies insulated. They have been known to swim underwater for up to 15 minutes, and they can close off their ears and nose to keep water out when they dive. Muskrats are omnivores, but prefer feeding on roots, stems, leaves, and fruits of plants like cattails, water lilies, wild rice, and arrowhead. Occasionally, muskrats will feed on small fish, clams, snails, and crayfish. Muskrats do not store food for the winter like beavers do, so they need to eat fresh food each day. Just like the beaver, muskrats make their homes right by bodies of water or practically in water. Muskrats will build a domed hut out of plant material and mud in a shallow body of water with at least one entrance below the waterline and will also burrow into the banks of a water body. Muskrat burrows and huts have been known to be used by other wildlife for resting and nesting, even when they're still occupied by the muskrats. Muskrats mark their territory with a musky scent, which is where they get their name from. The association of a musky odor and their rat-like tail was meshed together to create their name. In New Jersey, muskrats have many natural predators, including eagles, hawks, owls, snapping turtles, red fox, and raccoons. Aside from being part of the food chain, they do play an important role in ecosystem management, especially when it comes to aquatic vegetation control. Since they feed on a lot of wetland vegetation, they can open up overgrown areas of shallow water. These open areas then provide good forage and nesting sites for water birds and other wildlife, as well as help maintain plant diversity. The next time you are out on the trails that line the Rancocas Creek, take a look along the water's edge to see if you can find any signs of muskrat. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Species Spotlight.